Nora Tonsil's new work office is in the parking lot of the Respiratory Assessment Walltown Clinic. My job really is to be able to provide that other side uh, of needs, the social support. Most of the time she interacts with patients who drive up to the COVID-19 testing site who may not speak English. With the Hispanic community, they, I've learned that they're, um, the vast majority are still very shy and they don't ask for help. Uh, so when they get to speak to me, at least they see a friendly face. They see a face that speaks their language and I am able to communicate with them because uh, for the Hispanic community, that's probably the number one barrier is their language. Being able to translate and interpret Spanish is critical, especially during this crisis to make sure people get the help that they need. Cough, fever and um, shortness of breath. And in the last few weeks, we have uh, seen an increased numbers of patients coming in to get tested. Uh, especially among the Hispanic community. In addition to the COVID-19 testing site, she also finds other resources for patients. All of the families that come in through our testing sites uh, are going to have a variety of needs, uh, whether it's food, clothing, even masks. We are now distributing masks. Um, they also, some families uh, might need diapers and um, formula for their babies. She says fears of the unknown is the driving factor for why so many people are getting tested. Right now, the biggest fear is bringing the virus home. We have some uh, uh, patients come in straight from work wanting to get tested because they have heard rumors uh, about their um, place of work. So they want to come in and get tested. She says her goal is to empower others and give them the tools they need. It's very convenient. You just go in, we get you checked in, and then we'll proceed with the testing and then we'll wait for results. So it's a very seamless process um, and uh, we hope to keep it that way. So the